guys, Lauren here, back with another wedding related video. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about something that I'm using to help me organize and plan for my wedding. So I'm gonna be telling you about this giant uh, organizational binder. I don't know if you can see it. It's a huge binder. Um, I'm using it to help me plan and just keep everything in one spot. So I'm gonna walk you through how I made mine. So here is the cover of my wedding planning binder. Um, I simply went on the website pickmonkey.com. I love that website. They have really cute fonts, uh, little design things for the corners. And then uh, I made this little collage of our engagement day. And then I put the date of our wedding. So yeah, I just printed that out and put it um, in the cover here. And then when we open it, um, the binder does have pockets, and I do put things in there right away when we do get them. And then, uh, when I get home, I organize them into their correct spot, I guess you could say. Um, so to start, I have a three-hole, uh, what is it, a pencil pouch in here, and then if we open it. I obviously have like pens and markers and highlighters, things like that. And then I always carry post-it notes. Those are really helpful to jot down any information from vendors, questions that you ask, um, questions that you wanna ask that pop into your head, things like that. So I got this just at Target for a couple dollars. And then the first thing I have in here is a calendar. Now this is organizing, um, let's see, this was July. So it was organizing a lot of like wedding dress appointments and then um, appointments that we have with vendors. Obviously we don't have a whole lot going on right now. Um, our venue had an open house that we went to. Uh, for now I just had July and August printed out here just because the remainder of the next couple months, there isn't gonna be a whole lot going on. You know, I'm just working on a lot of DIY projects, things like that. But then when we get closer to our, our wedding, I will print out more uh, calendars for each month because of course there'll be more things going on. So let's get into the tabs here. The very first tab I have, I don't know if you can actually read it from here, it says checklist slash timelines. Now I literally just Googled wedding checklists, wedding timeline checklists, and um, you know, start making save the dates. This is uh, 12 months to go. So I've already started doing those things. I already have a lot of things checked off on this list. And then I've crossed some things out that just don't apply to us. Um, let's see, this is plan an engagement party. We're not doing that. We're not having an engagement party. Um, contact lighting and tent rentals, things like that. Just things that don't apply to us. So simply Google these things. Google is your friend as well as Pinterest. That's Pinterest is my best friend. The next one is budget. Um, simply just printed out worksheets off of line as well. The next tab is guest list. Now I simply just made this chart on Microsoft Word. I'm just covering addresses up right now. So the very first um, column is the guest names and then we have addresses and then um, is did we send the save the date obviously we'll go back and check these off once we do send them um, and then invite sent and then are they coming or are they not coming and then number attending which we already have that filled out but if for some reason you know they're not bringing a plus one we can update that as well uh, the next tab is venue so I've got all of our venue information, all the questions that we asked them when we uh, initially toured, contracts, things like that. Um, we have a tab for bridal parties, so I'm keeping track of all of their information. And then our next tab is photography. So uh, our vendor for photography and videography is actually in here. I did print off online a photo shot list that we can add to. Whenever I did get somebody's business card, I would simply just hole punch it and then put it in the appropriate location. So this is the business card for our photographer. So it's in our uh, photography, obviously. Next we have DJ. This is our DJ company we went with. Here is our contract. Next we have caterer, of course, business cards. We have our menu that we are choosing from. 
all of this information. We have our contract. Really important to keep those all in one spot. Let's see. The next tab I have is stationery. Now I don't have anything in here quite yet, um, but when I when I do finish my save the dates and invitations, I am gonna put a copy of them in here just because I wanna keep one. Next we have a registry. We have not registered anywhere yet, so all this information is just blank. We have flowers, and again, this is blank as well. We haven't gotten into choosing our vendor or flowers, things like that, so this is blank. Next, I just put a tab for photo booth because this is something we're considering. So again, I just have um, some information, business cards of potential um, vendors for that. And then the last but not least, I have decor. And I just have one little lonely business card here. She actually rents uh, vintage pieces. So furniture, uh, everything down to you know centerpieces, glassware, things like that. Well guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed looking at my wedding binder. This has been super helpful so far and funny, whenever I do pull this out when we're, you know, when we visited our venue or cater, things like that, and I start asking all the questions that I have printed out and I'm like super organized, they're always really impressed. They're like, oh, we love brides like you. You're so organized, you're on top of things, and that is awesome. It's really gonna make planning and organizing everything that much easier. If you have any tips for me, I would love to hear from you, and if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. Please subscribe below and look out for my next video. Bye guys.